Hey guys, um, this is gonna be really quick, and we're probably not really quick because I talk a lot, but sorry if I'm coming. Um, I just got out of the shower, and I'm actually sending my computer in tomorrow, so I thought I'd get this video up before I send it in. Um, basically explaining why I've been looking up how to see subscribers, email me, saying, uh, um, Ashton, where are you? Uh, you haven't posted a video in a while. And I don't really have that many subscribers, so when you do email me, I need to send that first. Um, then, I mean, I want to let my subscribers know where I am. So, I haven't posted a video in a while because I've been having some computer problems. Um, as you know, I'm in college, and I've had the laptop that I've had, that I have now that I'm recording on since my sophomore year in high school, so it's been a while. I've had it for quite a, quite a bit of time. Um, so... Being that I've had it for a while, I've, I mean, I haven't really had it for a while. I've had it for maybe like three, four years because I'm a sophomore in college right now. And I've just had a lot of problems with it lately. Um, I have emailed the company that I bought the computer from, which I have an HP Papon TV 6700, I believe it's called. Yeah. And um, this line was basically like a faulty line or something like that. And they did recall a few of these computers, but I didn't get that recall because I still have it to this day. Um, but I mean, I didn't have any problems with it at first, but I'm just gonna let you know the problems that I had lately. Um, I actually got in contact with HP and told them what was going on, and um, they actually sent me a box which is over there, and I will be sending my computer out to get tested by engineers or some crap like that. So I will be without a computer for like the first two, three weeks of my spring semester, which is going to suck because I'm a nursing student and I use my computer a lot for presentations and such, so it's going to suck. But basically, this is what's been happening. Um, like I said, I've had this computer for about three years, maybe. Yeah, because I bought it in like 2000, December 2008, I believe. So, about, yeah, about three years. Um, I feel like it is. My math is so crappy. I'm not a math teacher. So, um, but basically, in June of this year, 2011, wait. Yeah, it's the 31st. So, June of this year, 2011, my computer was running really slow, and where I charge it, um, it wasn't charging. Like, I had to hold it in certain spots to get charged. So I took it to the computer shop in my town, uh, well my dad's town because I was home for the summer from my, um, because I, I lived in a dorm last year, so um, I brought it to a computer store um, back here, and which I'm at my dad's right now, can't tell, and had them look at it, and the problem with my charge, with why it wasn't charging, um, I don't know actually what the problem was. But they fixed it because it's charging now. Um, I think it was the cord, but I'm not sure. And my computer was running extremely slow. Like, I would seriously go to get on Facebook or something like that, and I would just go downstairs and do stuff while it was loading. Um, so I had to pay like $180 just to get it looked at, get the problem of why it was running so slow fixed, and to buy a new power cord, which cost me like $70. I found that a little ridiculous to say. But paid like $180 for that, and after that it was still running slow, but not as slow. I mean, I could, it would take probably like two minutes to load a page, whereas before it took like five to seven minutes or something like that. But my charger, like the charging part was working, which was the main priority for me, because if my computer wasn't charged, then I couldn't use it anyways. So, they fixed that, and I left for college to go to my apartment in August, so I w my computer was still running slow, and around October, my dad came up because it was filming the weekend or some shit like that, so they came up to um, pick me up to eat and buy me groceries from my apartment and stuff like that, and I don't have a car up at my college because the traffic there is ridiculous, like if you live there, you'll understand. Um, I think I've mentioned this in my videos where I go to college, so I'm not afraid to say because it's a little bit of college. Um, I go to 
WVU, which is Western Virginia University. So traffic there is atrocious, so I don't have a car. So my computer was acting really weird and was running slow again, and the virus protection was acting up. So when my dad came up to Paris weekend, they took me to Best Buy from Hill, which I have, or yeah, I have the Geek Squad protection because I bought my computer at the Best Buy. So took it up there, and they I had to pay like a hundred or something dollars to get a new virus protection and for them to add or to update software or something like that. I don't know that was talking to my was just like I wanna go over here. So got that fixed in October. It was the second time within, you know, a couple months range that I got it fixed. And it started it was running a little faster but it wasn't running like it was when I first got it, which I didn't really expect. So my dad left and yeah, that was October, like late October. Um, and went on my bit, like went on my way, um, went to class, stuff like that. And then one day, it was like late November, a month later, um, I went to sociology class and then went to pull out my computer and you know, I tried to turn it on and when it came on, there was this black screen that said that there was a problem with my operating, like my operating error or something like that, or there was, there was an error in my operating system or something like that. So I was like, what the hell? So it gave me options to start it up with. And I tried every single option that it gave me, multiple times, at least six times per option, not even mine. I was like freaking out. And so I, I turned it off, turned it back on to see if it changed. And it was still the same thing. The whole time I was sending videos um, of my computer, like what it was doing to my father, and he was telling me, like, give me options of what to do. So finally getting to a point, I had to skip class, and this was on like a Thursday, because the way I had my schedule set up last semester was, I had one class, I'd like, I had a time in Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the rest of my classes were on Tuesday, Thursday. So, sociology was my first class of the day, it was at 10 in the morning. And so I called my dad, I got out, I left class early, got out and I called my dad, and I was like, I don't know what to do, I really don't know what to do, I'm not good with computers, uh, I just, what am I supposed to do? So he told me to go up to Best Bottom Hill, and we have a bus service that takes you up there if you want it, but it's like every hour the bus comes, and my dad was like, just, you know, skip class, you can just one class, it's not going to kill you, just go up there. So I just skipped four classes to go to the hill. Um, yeah, that was stressful because... On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I got out at 6 o'clock, so I'm in the classroom from until 6 o'clock. And so I go up on the hill, and I take my computer, I'm like, I just brought this in last month, no last. And you guys told me it was fine when I left. And so they ran a check on it, and they were like, well, you're going to need a new hard drive. A uh, new hard drive crashed. I was like, did you, you, you not look for that last time? Like, I don't understand. So I had to leave my computer there for them to run more tests on it, and we get a call later that um, week, and they're like, "Hi, Ashton." Well, they said my last name, but I don't want to say my last name. Sorry. Um, we like we need to come back up on the hill so we can talk talk to you basically. And um, so I got there. They're like, "Yeah, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need this." I'm like, "This computer is only three years old. Why should I need a new hard drive? You know, need everything basically." So they were like, I don't know. So I called my dad and I was like, Dad, I need all this. So he's like, Well, and I was like, I can't afford this. Like, I really can't afford this. I mean, I can barely afford school as it is. I pay for all of my school. So for me to have to also pay to get my computer fixed, which I paid about like eleven hundred dollars for this computer. And it's three years old. A chimney you don't miss. like so he's like well I'll send you I'll wire you some money and you can get it fixed it'll be your Christmas present so I was like okay I don't care just please do it <laughs> so he wired me money like he talked to the guy to see if he could get some about it and he wired me money so I took the money up there and actually had to wait like a couple more days because I had to get a hold of HP to get a new uh, like a recovery desk so that there was none of, there was one in my box when I bought the computer. And it took a couple more days 
and actually took his stuff up there and paid for it and took like another week for them to fix it and I just was getting so frustrated so I got my computer back and went to turn it on and by the way it cost $300 to get it fixed and I was like I just yeah so get my computer back turn it on and mind you I had a 17 page um, paper due a couple days later and it was on my computer everything was wiped they, I, they asked me to call everything back up. I was like, yes, got some papers, but everything was white. I had all my pictures from prom, all my pictures from graduation, all my pictures of Peggy when he was a baby, all my pictures of my friends, all my papers from college, all my music, everything was gone. So, I broke down in tears on the phone. I was hyperventilating. My friends had to, you know, take me on a walk to make me breathe, and everything was gone. So, a couple, like, a couple months later, this was, like, early December. Well, well, early this month, and I noticed that, like, I was pulling on later one night because I had finals the next day, and so I get ready for class in the morning, and I noticed that I had red marks on my leg, and because I had my computer on my lap all night, and I had my fan on me, and I had my window open, I mean, it was pulling my computer down, and I had red marks on my leg. Well, I had blisters from my fan burn, my computer burnt my leg. And cause blisters, and I actually still have a scar. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. Um, so I called my dad, and I was like, "Dad, my computer burnt me, and I like I could barely put my pants, my jeans on for class to go to my final." With what the fuck was that? I don't know. Um, so I could barely put my jeans on to go to class. Like I had to wear um, sweatpants for class because. It hurt so bad. I had a big, like, a, at least a case of that day full of multiple blisters in my leg. And I was just like, that seems ridiculous. I, like, I don't understand why my computer was only just crash, having a new hard drive, burning my leg. Like, that happened at least three times. And you can't, like, I know some of those because I know people in the dark want you to, you know, put something between your legs. I put towels, I put a blanket, I put books, everything between my computer and my lap and I still got burnt from this time and it, people don't seem to understand that my college like we have big classrooms so the desks are small and you can't necessarily put your computer on your desk all the time because the desks are small so you end up putting it on your lap and I wear jeans to class so I have my jeans in between my computer and my lap and it would still burn me so contacted HP about it and they're being very gracious about it. They're gonna run some tests on it and tell me what's wrong with it, but the thing is I'm still gonna use that computer for the first month or so of my class. Like of my spring semester. So I just wanna let you guys know what's been going on. I've had multiple people email like message me on here and be like, Why aren't you using video are you okay? Stuff like that. Um, especially one of my foreign friends, see, I'm sorry girl, I'm really not ignoring you, I promise I'm not, but um, I've just been having problems with my computer, and I've spent at least six thousand, I've spent at least six hundred dollars trying to fix my computer, and it was only worth eleven hundred dollars, so, yeah, I asked for a MacBook for Christmas, but I have to buy that with my own money, um, so I'll probably be getting it around all this maybe, if that, like, I don't know. So, I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul when I get up to, when I go back to my apartment, um, because I live about three hours away from here, but I'll be uploading it on my best friend's computer, because I have all my Christmas presents here, but I also ordered some stuff online from newsoutlet.com, so, and it's already been delivered to my apartment, so as soon as I get back, I will record a Christmas haul. My mouth just got like, so yeah, um, yeah, so thanks for, you know, staying subscribed to me and not like, I'm, oh my god, I'm tragic, and not unsubscribing, and because of the fact that I haven't been making videos, but I just want to let you guys know what's going on, and my hair looks horrible right now, I'm sorry, so yeah, I'm going to go, bye.